If anyone has an inside track at winning the Blockbuster Bowls MVP award, surely it is one of these Florida State Seminoles who are spending the week practicing on the home field of the award's namesake. We were just sitting around a couple of weeks ago and someone brought up the fact that Brian was a native of Broward County and we just said, gee whiz, we really need to name the most valuable player award after Brian. Back in the early 60s, St. Thomas Aquinas High was called Central Catholic and Brian Piccolo was one of the big football players on campus. He went on to become quite famous, but not because of his athletic ability, but rather his death. The legend blossomed from a heart-tugging 1971 made-for-TV movie, and overnight, all of America knew Brian Piccolo. This is a story about two men. One named Gail Sayers, the other Brian Piccolo. Florida State has two players who hail from St. Thomas Aquinas High, linebacker Sterling Palmer and place kicker Richie Andrews. These two were barely born when Brian's song hit the airwaves, but through their high school football program, they've come to know and respect the memory of their most famous alumni. Being a St. Thomas graduate and knowing that somebody on my team probably is going to receive the award because I think we're going to beat Penn State, uh, it's going to be nice knowing that it's staying with people that I know. The high school hasn't forgotten. Still hanging in the equipment room are Piccolo's hip pads from those early 60 playing days. And for an alma mater, St. Thomas chose the original score from Brian's song. It is played after every home football game. Not just to hear the song, but to know that this, uh, he played at this stadium right, right here where we're at. And uh, it's kind of like he's still here. Certainly his memory lives on in the first ever Blockbuster Bowl. In Fort Lauderdale, Scott Atwell for CBS News.